Speaking of types, there are two functions I'll quickly mention called parseInt and parseFloat. You may not use them all the time, but there are situations where you have a string and you need to turn it into a number. So the string contains a number, hopefully, and you want to extract that number as a numeric value so you can do math with it um, or do something numerical with it. So parseInt is going to give us back, it will return an integer. You can see here parseInt of the string 24 gives us 24. If we try it on a decimal, the string 24.987, it stops at that period at the decimal and it just gives us the integer part, 24. Parse float does the same thing, except it's going to parse the entire float, the entire decimal number of the string, in the string. So I can just quickly show you that. If we do parse int, uh, let's say we ask the user to enter their age into a form, and they enter in 21. Parse int is going to give us the actual number. If we had 21 and we wanted to add a year to it, uh, to indicate a birthday for that person, that's not going to work for us. But if we parse int of the string 21, we can now add 1 and get 22. And then we also have parse float, which you can see from the slide, if we pass in something like 33.5, we'll get back a number containing a decimal. Now there are some weird situations, like if you tried to parse int on a price, dollar sign 99 it's going to give us not a number it does not like that dollar sign it's not expecting any non number characters any non digits in there and the same applies for parse float but if your string does contain a number at the beginning if it starts with a number like 99 cents if we had the word cents afterwards we actually will get the number 99 out of there so it's kind of odd if it detects a number at the beginning. If the first character is a valid digit, then it will keep going until it can't go any further. So if I had this, we'll get all of that. But if I instead have a non-digit character at the beginning, it gets messed up. Also, I can put spaces in there and it will be okay. But as soon as I put other characters, it gets confused. You probably won't be doing something like this with this, this particular string, but it's common if a user enters something into a form. This is one way of getting that string, because form data comes in as a string, you could turn it into an actual number and do math with it. And that's it, parse in, parse float.